like most things as it relates to especially the black population in what is essentially the Atlantic world, we do have to go back to transatlantic slavery. So we do have to go back to a moment of um, black people being in really um, like sort of acts of deprivation, I would say, as it relates to self-care, right? Because you're just not able to self-care, right? And you're sort of having to use what's in your environment. And so in the, you could go back to, there's early examples of, of lie, for example, like the product, the, that, that idea of lie has been around for hundreds of years. So you will have cases mm -hmm. in, especially during in the US Southern plantation where they would mix lye with potatoes and, and other kinds of things because it was a known kind of caustic chemical that could straighten the hair. So they realized that. And so during slavery to sort of speed up this story, you had a division of labor. So if you worked in the house and you were a house slave as opposed to a field slave, the house slaves after a while, the plantation master was like, we want you to look more like us. So there was more of an imperative to straighten or wear a wig so that they, they felt more comfortable with you in their home, essentially. Now we can flash forward and think now, 20th century, you're a black person. If you want a good job, it's, it's now generations, that pathology of hair has to mirror the employer who is white.